Last night was crazy from what I could recall Think that I fell in love Hey guys, this is the Custom Hero and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Poison Tap on your Raspberry Pi And if you don't know what Poison Tap is, I will have the GitHub link in the description But it's basically a tool made by Sammy Camcar And it allows you to take the hash files and cache from everything on the victim's computer um, You can get passwords from this, I'm not going to be showing you how to use it I'm just going to show you how to install it um, I'm sure you can find someone using it on the internet uh, you can also install remote shells with it and yeah let's get started okay all you guys are going to need is a raspberry pi and a micro sd card it can be two gigabytes or more the file is only two gigabytes so it'll work on any two gigabyte card most likely you can make a usb adapter built onto your raspberry pi like i did um, if you guys want to see a tutorial on that then go ahead and tell me about it yeah let's get into the video first what you guys want to do is go to the raspbian website and download the latest version of raspbian jesse Li Instead of doing that super long process, I realized it was super long. Uh, I made it super easy for you guys to do this. All you have to do is go to this Mediafire link in the description and download this bad boy. It's very various speeds depending on your internet speed. Go ahead, extract it. It'll give you a file just like this on poisontap.img. Um, you will need Win WinRAR or 7-zip to extract that. And then you will need Win32 Disk Imager to format this onto your SD card. Um, it's free software. Just go. Well, there's a be a link in the description. Go and download it. Um, plug your SD card in. It can be two gigabytes, like I said before. Um, any size over that's just fine because the file is only two gigabytes. So go ahead and click that. Select your file. Mine's on my desktop. Click right there. And I'm going to go hit right from image from image file to device. That'll put what's ever on here onto my SD card. And all I got to do is hit right. Um, it'll ask me if I want to format it because it'll corrupt it possibly but just fine if you guys don't want to do this there will be a text tutorial in the description and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video